Hello guys, it's Chris Go Sniper here from the Friar, and I got an unboxing slash unveiling for you of a screwdriver that I have found to be the coolest thing I have seen in quite a while, at least in the world of screwdrivers. And as a tech hobbyist nerd that's been building them and fixing them and taking things apart and all that other stuff, this came in very handy. We've all seen the 6-in-1 where you have two different sizes of Phillips, a 02 and I think a double O on one side and two flatheads, two different sizes. And then, you know, you have the hex on one side, one on the other, and you, you know, pull it out and flip it over. And you can flip the other one over. Great tool. I own like 12 of them. I have one in each one of my tool bags plus my toolbox. I have one in my truck. I have one in my wife's car. I have them everywhere. And they're great tools. But I found something better. Uh, Ace Hardware has put this out. They have the patent on it. And it's a 10 in 1. And not a traditional 10 in 1 where you have a shaft that is fixed with a bunch of tiny bits on it. And you always lose the tiny bits or they're too hard to grab or stuff to that effect. You know, I can't stand those little screwdrivers. I. Big bulky. I'm a huge man. Itty bitty living space. Uh, sorry. <laughs> Too much Disney. Uh, functions very similarly to the six and one, where you pull out the shaft, you can flip it upside down, and you still have your bits. But here's the here's the pincher. You don't have to pull the main shaft out. You can actually pull the top shaft out. And you still have an option of four different bits because the smaller bits pull out and flip over. So you have a tiny little uh, Phillips and you flip over the other one and you get a big old Phillips. So you have that, but on one small shaft, so you actually have two. Now what this does is you still have the functionality of having the mini the three eighths inch uh, hex or the quarter inch hex. But on top of that, now this is where it gets tricky. You flip the shaft over. Now we're no longer in the realm of Phillips and flatheads. We now have square bits and torque bits. Uh, I think one's a T8 and which is common and the other one, which is not labeled on here, which is a downside. I wish it was labeled. I think it's like a T10 or something like that. It's a bigger one. I'll have to look it up. But this screwdriver, I've already used it, so I don't really have a way to unbox it and unbag it and all that other great stuff. But this puppy, bright handle, good feel on it. It's got some good texture on it, good neural. You can, uh, like I said, you're hearing me open this up and back and forth. I have some B-roll of it that I'm going to be attaching to the audio, which hopefully I'll probably just cut this part out. <sighs> and uh, I'll find something to, I'm hopefully, I'll be using this definitely in my new build and you'll see it in there. But uh, this is my new favorite screwdriver. Uh, they are not inexpensive. Uh, most of the uh, six and ones average between six and like seven bucks. This one's a little bit more, but well, there's more engineering involved. It's about $9, actually a little bit under. Now, in Oregon, which is a wonderful state to live, there's no sales tax, so I didn't have to worry about that. But if you're like in California, it's like 8.5, or Wisconsin, like it's like 7.5, or New York, which is like probably 30% uh, taxes. And I'm just throwing numbers out the top of my head. I'm not for sure on what's really going on. But that is my epiphany of the week. <laughs> My unboxing, open boxing, my unbagging, my open bagging, whichever you like to prefer to call it. And I will be corrected in the comments of it, but this is a wonderful tool, well built, uh, very solid. I have some uh, friends that will be getting one of these as stocking stuffers. And I believe every one of my son, actually every one of my kids should have one of these when they're of age and never lose it. But thank you very much for uh, watching. Uh, like and or subscribe. Oh, not like or. Uh, like or dislike. And hit the subscribe button if you want to keep up to date on my channel. 
uh, gaming content, unboxings, product reviews, uh, beta testing, me acting crazy, and my usual vlogs, which I'm starting to get in the knack of getting into doing. Uh, I have started a second channel. Uh, there's nothing on it, so I'm not going to say any more about that. But I thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time here in the Friar. Have a good day.